Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm gonna be giving you some tips to have more fun building with your buddies. You see, there's a great tragedy that we all need to work together on. And it's that a lot of Valheim players feel like they're not builders. And that's absolutely absurd, because there's a builder deep down inside in every Valheim player. Now, if you're a more savvy builder, or you just recognize the building's fun, you have a great responsibility to show these people, to encourage them to unlock their inner builder. And here's how you do it. You can't just tell them to go build something. It's not gonna work. Even if they're like, yeah, I wanna build something. But if you're like, okay, go build a house, no, 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 no. They're probably gonna get confused or feel overwhelmed or not know where to start. But what if you do the first part? You pick the spot, you build part of the frame, and then you tell your friend, hey, could you fill this in? This takes away the challenging part, which is making the decision of where to put what's what. Because this way, they get to go in and they don't have to decide any of that. They get to have their own little experience and fill it in the way that they're gonna do it, right? And this is the first thing that you can do to help other people build more. It's to set up frames and do the first part for them. So all they have to do is fill it up. Something else that you can do is set up most of the corner pieces in the roof for them. New builders tend to struggle with the roofs for some reason, especially the corner bits. So if you get them all in the right place, then they can get some experience with the roofs just without having to do the corners yet. Another option is to just build an empty room for them. Some people prefer doing the decorating and doing the interior building. And it's really all about figuring out what part of the building process do the people you're playing with enjoy and sort of doing the other bits so that they can focus on that part. Gathering wood itself is actually something that you can also do for them because people tend to get a bit intimidated because uh, they don't want to use all the wood, they don't get enough wood. So you can mitigate that by just giving them a bunch of wood that you've cut. This can pair up well with giving them a space to build in because that way they have the stuff, all they have to do is come here with a hammer and then they can disassemble it, get a bunch of fine wood for furniture, and then disassemble this to get some wood to change this, maybe close up the walls. And you really need to give them a space to sort of practice that creativity. Don't underestimate that a lot of people feel very intimidated when it comes to creating anything. And it's best to just get people going, get them started. You don't have to be perfect. And don't get overwhelmed by all of these huge epic builds online. Most of them don't even work if you download them. Your computer runs so slow, it's all pointless anyway. So just have a blast. If you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server. You can use my link, JP Valheim, and I'll get almost half of the sale. Zap's been really generous with me, and I've loved working with them so far. Comment below if there's something you want me to make a tutorial about. I love making these videos. See you next time. Bye!